What are the most trending coins? We're going to go over the most trending coins. Also, cat, how big can it go? Potentially, sign of play could be a little bit of uh, a red flag. Let's go in to all those things right now. So the top 30 trending coins on CoinGecko, you can see for the last week, these. Simon's Cat, number one. So I haven't spoken about it in a few days. They haven't lost any conviction. Just hasn't been super, super relevant. Still, everything that I value with Simon's Cat still holds true. There's been liquidity going in to Sundog on Tron and all that sort of stuff. Basically, anything on Tron, I don't think it's going to do well. I think if you get in and you're lucky and you're in alpha kind of circles, maybe do well. But for the most part, you're not going to do well. Simon's Cat is still what's exciting. The market cap has since risen to 100 million. The bond guy is still holding this conviction. I think this conviction is going to be like this. It's important to note that he probably has a million dollars or $500,000 worth of that token. So if that token does a 5x or 10x, he's, wel he's welcome to take profits at any stage. However, there's a difference. I mean, this this shilling and there's still this shilling and there's speaking about conviction or something. And then there's just like dropping a ticker and say, buy my bags. This has a bit more of a thesis. I'm still loving cat. Nothing, of course, will be over financial advice. Cat versus WBNB market cap has been lifting up. I really wanted to pick some up a little bit lower, but just didn't come down to a low level that I thought it could hit. I mean, given that crypto's market is crashing and and cat is going up, it's kind of crazy, you know. Meanwhile, of course, Bitcoin is absolutely tanking, so you'd normally expect altcoins to come down with you, but they just they haven't been doing that. Now let's have a look at the the general the general start state of the of the crypto markets. Everything's basically red other than USDC and USDT. Sol's down here at 127. Like we can certainly go quite a bit lower. I don't think we necessarily will, but there's new data suggests we could in fact be doing so. The crypto fear and greed index is low. Also, typically at these points, when things are very fearful, they flick, they come out of this fairly quickly, you know, a week or two weeks or so. And this is the time when you do want to add to your bags. Once again, not financial advice. It can always go lower. You're not trying to buy the ultimate bottom. You're trying to buy in the lower range, ideally. And then you may take some profits slightly higher, or you may hold like I do with Soul for conviction. Hold your soul, stake your soul, stake it with validator.com. Now, why is everything actually going lower? We'll go over that in a second with September being how it is. However, the Fed officials agree it's time to start lowering federal funds rates. So we could start to see, you know, that liquidity come back into these riskier assets. This is all being worked out later on in September. And quite often what can happen is because you can see, you know, the, the rates quite high. You can get like a rate cut and then a couple months later, another rate cut, another rate cut. It all depends on, on other metrics like job, jobless claims, unemployment, all that sort of stuff. The US stock market, remember, if you're just looking at your crypto bags going down, you're thinking, oh my goodness, crypto is terrible. Why did I ever do this? Have a look at the fact that the stock market in general is not doing well, like $2.2 trillion of the market cap in the first week of September. And also keep in mind that I still firmly believe in the 18.6 year property cycle made famous by Phil Anderson, Philip J. Anderson, spoken a lot about Jason, by Jason Pizzino and Michael Pizzino, but basically next year is the, the incredible year. But I also think the end of this year could, could do well. And earlier, for context, I did think we would actually be doing quite well in September, coming up to break point. Obviously, when data changes, data changes, and the data changed, and that was not the case. So potentially the S&P 500's worst week since 2023 amid jobs data. I don't necessarily believe that's necessarily going to affect it. I think it's just more as leverage in the system and just, well, I mean, it does affect it, of course, but ultimately jobs are probably the same as what they were. It's just there's more reports or things are being angled in a particular way, depending on the election. And ultimately people want to sell Wales will sell, then they'll buy back lower. That's generally how it is. Now, remember, in, in general, September is a down month. It's not a very good month. Thus far, it's been very down. 2014 is the only one to beat it, and 2019. We, we could certainly go lower. And then October tends to be green, but we could have a little bit of struggle here. We'll have to see how we do. But November and December, this is where I think the party starts to go. We have to wait for more data. We have to wait for more liquidity to come into the market. We can see quarterly that this quarter has not been good. But once again, the quarter four tends to be pretty good with Bitcoin and Ethereum. This is thanks to your crypto.community. But remember, as the global M2 money supply, so like available cash being printed by treasuries gets put out or by US treasury gets put out, then we start to see the riskier assets like Bitcoin start to take up. And you have to kind of zoom out. You can't just look at the last few months. You have to realize that as this creeps up and it will creep up and it will probably go even crazier for the next two years or so, 
because whoever's in whoever's in the presidency spot, there will be a market crash in 2026 ish around that time, and it'll be significant. It'll be like 27, 2007, 2008. And whoever's in that, they're going to be blamed for it, even though this is a market cycle, it's pretty common. So they're going to try and print their way out of it. And I think they'll overprint. Now, Skyscanner integrates with Travala, enabling hotel bookings in over 100 cryptocurrencies. This is relevant as we're starting to have a lot more conferences. And there are some NFT projects or just projects in general or credit cards that allow you to get like 10% off. So consider this when you're going and booking your hotels. And also Mercurio launches this multi-chain crypto debit card, which people are very, getting very excited about, it's actually really, really crazy with the fees. So let me just flick this in so we can just find it here. The network fees. Let's have a look at commission. I need to, I probably need to get one and actually see how much it ex, it's actually costing. But it says currently Mercury, we include the commission fee to the exchange rate displayed to the customers. The, the rate is almost 4% for buying cryptocurrency with a or debit card and 2.95% when selling. I don't know if that means if we're selling USDC or USDT into euros or US dollars, if it's that. Still need to work that out. I'll ping them and we'll find out because right now, I'm unsure if this is super, super like bullish, right? It just seems a little bit, a little bit off. Let me just get back to our page. But there's plenty of, there's plenty of coverage. So people are not necessarily going to see this. So if you want to grab something like this, just keep in mind, keep in mind that it could be quite expensive. And I don't know if this was sponsored on Coin Telegraph because they made no mention of it. They've gone with with the fact that it's like this. But I mean, if it's 4%, it's kind of stupid. It's, that's not going to get anything crazy. It does say that like, there's a small issuance fee and a maintenance fee, which is fine. An off-ramp fee, which is a little bit high, but fine. But I wonder if you're actually spending it, if it's going to cost about 4%. Now, the Ethereum news is not is not good. We're only, we're only just following who's selling. And this is selling has kind of started since the Ethereum Foundation started to sell like a, a decent chunk, like 100 million or something. So Wintermute has now deposited 104 million to Binance, which will probably push that price down further. 14 million from uh, Meta Alpha, another 18 million, and there'll be others out there. And the same thing can happen with Solana. But in general, if you hold the token, like remember yesterday or the day before, Ave founder, Stanny, he was selling Ave. Like if you're selling your token, don't know how you can be properly bullish on it. Every now and then when things get like properly frothy and you take profits, like Elon Musk said, should I sell Tesla? And then everyone on Twitter mostly said yes. And he went and sold a whole lot of Tesla stocks. Fine. But if you're doing it on chain, it can be watched, of course. And you're welcome to do it. It's your, it's your crypto. Is that bullish for your blockchain? There's more to price, of course. But price is very important in these speculative assets. So we're going to go over Breakpoint and we're going to go over some Solana stuff as well. But just the ecosystem update. This is what's covered with the Solana ecosystem call each month. And ecosystemly, in terms of the ecosystem, bit of down, did a bit of trend for sure, but something like funding has increased, which is really great to see. Otherwise, pretty much everything other than stable coins and funding has gone up. This is fine. This is kind of to be expected, but there's a lot of things launching and this is what we definitely like to see. Nothing crazy out of this. I mean, Driftbet would probably be the, the coolest thing out of this, but I do I do think we're still the place to be on Solana. To the calendar. So the cast has, has a, a card as well. And you can go and potentially get a bonus, some bonus crypto that was available with Super Teams ecosystem call the other day. Could still be happening right now. So I'm going to try this out, see if this cast card works quite well, see how long it takes the KYC. And then we've got a few other things happening on in just today. Nothing, nothing too crazy. It is a Saturday. Watch my Camino video. This is just an earning opportunity, leverage. Not keen on it personally. Like there's a limited amount of time you have to do for things. But if you want a long or short meme coins, if that's your skill set, could be could be a go for you. NX Finance, the end of the IDO has happened. My actionable has always been, I'm giving you the information on this. I didn't buy into the IDO and I'm just farming some points. I don't think they went with their IDO at a good time and they probably didn't raise how much they wanted, but they've raised enough in order to, you know, to actually create some revenue and to, and to move forward. So this is not a bad thing. And I don't know how we can, like when you can actually sell it. Token generation will be 9th of September. Okay. So 20% of 7% of the race sold along with the equivalent price tokens will be allocated to form a liquidity pool. Staking will be onboarded in September. And right now, the current market cap, because they have to burn, they're burning a lot from the kind of IDO stage because they're after like 21,000 and they raised eight and a half thousand. So still a decent raise. They are going to burn the remainder. So this is kind of better for those first people, but I just don't see why, like, why, why do you want the token? We have to work out why do we want this token? I can understand Camino's token. I can't understand NX Finances yet. And I feel that I should be able to understand it 
so I could put it into a video. And if I can't understand it immediately, I wonder how many people out there can't either. Nevertheless, they're working on a re revenue sharing breakdown. And so, so that is one thing. Just something like this should have come out a week ago. It'll be linked below. You can check it out if you like. But purely just the same thing as what I said. I'm just using it. They're going to take a cut of the fee and that's their revenue. And then I'll get some airdrop points, which will accumulate to the token. And later I'll work out if I want to keep that token. Grass Foundation, let's talk about the FUD on the Grass token. So it says that they are committed to doing what is best for long-term success of the network. As such, we are fine-tuning our detection systems to reduce false positives, meaning token allocations displayed in the Jira checker are not final. So keep in mind with that in case, I don't think they're going to take away people's tokens, but they certainly can. I'm hoping they gave themselves a decent buffer for all of this. But if you've been marked as a Sybil, go and let them know in Discord and whatnot. The actual price of this has gone up, or not gone up, but it's kind of launched at like th around 31 cents. So if you want to sell it pre-market, you can. I said I was predicting around 20 cents. What am I going to do with my grass? At this stage, like I can understand people's kind of frustration. I had a decent number of referrals. I used it a substantial amount, nothing crazy. And I've got like 400, 400 something tokens. So peanuts. I'm just going to, I'm just going to hold them. I'm just going to hold them. I'm still going to use grass. It doesn't really bother me. But remember my play here is just a whole lot of deep in projects. Just, just jump into some on a separate safe computer, some that you trust, don't have any hot wallets or anything with a lot of money on that computer, just for just general operational security. And sooner or later, we're going to hit one that absolutely goes crazy. The thing with grass is they had to do the token generation event. They had to do it because they'd been kind of farming it for a couple of years. So they couldn't really wait until November. They, they had a lot of intense pressure right now. So with this, just to be clear, once they turn on revenue, I think this could be really big. But I don't want to go in and, and say that's going to be crazy now. I'd rather be far more bearish on something until they actually have revenue. Otherwise, we can have an Uproc situation. Uproc has a great product market fit. But until they create that revenue, the token does not do well. We want the token to do well. That's very important. So we're two weeks out from, from the Solana conference or maybe even a little bit less. And the dog has been cooking up some super fun stuff for while everyone is there. Here's a quick overview of what's coming. So September 19th is a registration day and the dog will be doing a Bao Bao charity fashion. I didn't know what Bao Bao was before. There's a treasure hunt, which I'll be joining in. I'll be busy just creating a whole lot of content, but I'll be doing my best with, I've got a couple people from the team over there and we're going to be getting amongst this. Get amongst it. If you're going, get amongst it. Bonk is great. Token 2049, this is is now the early bird special is gone. It's now $1,000. You can still use the code SEBMONTY10, get $100 off. I'm not going to really kind of push this anymore. Uh, it's not that I'm pushing it. I just think if you're going to go to Singapore, you may as well do both. It's just, this is a chance to network, right? And watch my video on Singapore and everything you can do. Accommodation, hawkers, travel tips. Don't vape out there. Don't bring chewing gum, etc. Remember, click into anything and apply for any event you're interested in. Don't wait too late because there's going to be the people from Token 2049. There's going to be the people from Breakpoint. There'll be just crypto people in Singapore that will just probably be clicking on these things, even if they're not going to the event. So these are going to, the demand for these is going to be hard. Now play Solana. I'm going to take myself off the screen and let's just go over this. Yesterday, people said, can like look into it. Is this good? Is this not good? Nothing is financial advice. I don't want to get myself in trouble, but this has a lot of red flags. We're going to go over it. We're going to go over them right now. So the first thing to know is that their pre-sale has sold out. It was like 1.5 sold, I think. 1.5 sold, 1,000. I initially said it was like 130 grand, but I think that's closer to 200 grand. That sold out. People will ape into things. That Just keep that in mind. This is the information we have. This is the information we have that I had to do off, off, off the live stream yesterday because Discord and Telegram, I, I don't open them on live streams. So I clicked into every link available. It only took me 10 minutes of research, like if that. So the first thing here is you've got the website. They have a mint here. What are, you, what are we buying? There's a thousand sold out. They've done this nice clean website, but this is, they kind of make you look like you're special being part of these. But what on earth did you actually create? What was created? So, you know, if you have a saga, this is Genesis, Super Super Team, Mad Lads, etc. DJ Apes, click on this, you know, with whatever that wallet and go and buy one. Then they've got these things. Our partners, there's no, there's no fight against them directly here, but a lot of people do this. These are not partners per se. They're not like endorsements. They're people that have technology solutions that you use. As in, you can go set up a Helio link to do to do a pre-sale. It's not really a partner. You can go and buy uh, seb let's get amongst it dot soul or seb dot let's bonk from these guys and all of a sudden you're partnering with them metaplex that create core nfts you use their core nft standard that is the standard same thing with here 
I don't think there's any endorsement from them. To, so to say our partners, I hate to see it like that because I see things like, you know, partner with Amazon. And what they're doing is they're using Amazon Web Services, which anybody can use. They haven't said that here, but that's the kind of thing that they see. You see Instagram, like this is fine. It's a, it's a brand new Instagram. I don't expect anything here. Solana will never be the same. Really, like I'm actually doing a video on how to do your own research. And if you ape into something like this, it can go well. But this is in the, the pre-sale realm of putting money into a meme coin, basically. You just expect you're walking to the casino, you're walking to the casino, you're drunk, you're trying to play blackjack, and you don't even know how many numbers you have to get in order to get blackjack. That's kind of my expectation here. Like, what are they building? Who knows? You can join their Telegram, 438 subscribers. You can jump into their Discord, 991 members, 296 online. And this is what their channel is. You can't chat, you can't, there's no things that you can talk about. It's literally just, you chat, you sorry, you just look and see what posts are. They're just tweets. I don't even think, you. we can't even reply. We can just do reactions. If you join their Discord, then maybe after you've bought the pre-sale, you've got access to other things. Otherwise, there's nothing in frequently asked questions. There's nothing in rules. There's something in tweets. If this is just a screenshot in official links, there's one link just to the website. There's nothing here. What we have there is we have a couple of two community moderators. There's no gating as well. Like there's no like verification to get in here. So it's not set up by people that are familiar with Discord. We've got two people here and I'm not saying they may not have bad intentions. I'm, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying this has red flags. This is not something that I would, that I have aped into or that I would. And I'll have a look at who these people are in a second. So this is Junard. Follows me, but I don't know who they are. They're welcome to, re to respond. I think it's far better to be transparent in the space, but they've gone with something which is, you know, create FOMO, create FOMO. Maybe that works out for you. Now, the crazy thing is bulk trade. So working on something here, which is not play Solana. So play Solana isn't even referenced here in your, and then previously, and then previously. So low followers, I don't know what this is. Low followers, I don't know what this is. And then low followers, I don't know what this is. That's not really anything. I'm not trying to fud anyone from doing something good. It's just crypto is supposed to be more about transparency. This is not being transparent in my opinion. And like referencing past things when they were like a great success, fine. If they're something that's still completely building or is it like is it really worth mentioning and now you're working on another thing as well in fairness like i'm part of a, a few things myself however like i've got a team of people and I'm, I'm probably too direct and too transparent then we've got sandro pinto he's the other person he's a phd research professor at this university then he's a founder of this one which is a brand new thing 62 followers and then this one 437 and then this one as well. But my question is, why not a founder of Solana Play? Same situation. Now, this is this was kind of the, the first red flag that was very, very helpful. And I don't have a full answer on this. But Justin says, why are they using a fake Raj in their Discord? This seems shady. Who's behind this project? And this is specifically like replying to Play Solana, I believe, here. But the issue is, this is in a channel, Enter, which I didn't see that channel. That channel doesn't exist. So, and Raj is not going to do this. So that is that is a red flag, but I don't know if this channel existed and then they took it away. Then, yeah, that's basically that. There's a few other things here, but either way, I mean, this person, I mean, I've just, I've just reached out to find out was this actually in this Discord? I just don't know. Anyway, that's, that's all for that. Just the pre-sale is already done. There's a mint coming. I wouldn't touch it unless there's some proper information. Otherwise, it just looks like it's trying to extract liquidity and, and you have no idea what you're getting into. So you can be early. You can be early and every now and then you're going to be good. But most of the time, if you're properly early to something is trying to take away liquidity from you, you're going to turn 40 grand into 10 grand really, really fast. And that's what a lot of people do. And that's how, you know, these meme coins, which this is not, but it kind of have, has that play. That's how they do so well. Now with uh, Sui, I'm still trying to find out some information. There are some people pretty bullish on it. If anyone's properly bullish and has done their research, let me know. I'm referring to the Sui Play OX1. You can see I've just ordered one off one wallet. I want to do another one with the second wallet. This one is not in the top thousand, but we can't actually work out, like I can see the address here, but I can't work out if there's some way I can access a private key. Like if I get airdropped a brand new meme coin to this, will that be valuable? I'm still working that out. So if you want to grab one, you can. Even if I go into this, the Playtron account, there's nothing to suggest like, how can I access my private key? Which is what we can do with our chapter two 
and Saga private keys, right? That's my kind of small issue there. All right, now the next thing is, there's a ticket available for those that are going, that want to go to Breakpoint. So I won the Solana ID grand prize in the urn, properly bullish on this. As I said, transparent, my, my views are, most of the time I'm just like, I do not care for most things unless I see it has product market fit. And I did a video on this, good video, check it out. And I've won a ticket. I already have a ticket, so no point in me going. So basically, well, no point in me taking a spare ticket. I can transfer it to someone else. Tickets are $500. Check this out. If you're keen to go, you need to obviously pay for your flights, hotel, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and I only want to give it to someone who's actually going to go. I'm not going to run like a proper giveaway or anything like that. Just I'm going to choose the best answer for someone that's actually wanting to go. So if you are keen to go, you want a free ticket, I'll pick one person. I'll do it maybe Monday. So just go on, go on check it out. And then I'll just DM a couple of people to see who's actually going to go. Tickets, $500, as I mentioned. All right, let's jump into the actionables. Bookmark the Solana ecosystem calendar. Sign up for Cast. Let you spend stable coins across 100 plus countries. Look out for the early bonk list coming this week. Stable coins in Lulo. Put some stink bids, bids in if you're keen. DCA your soul and stake with validator.com, of course. Airdrop actionables. Just check your CNCR allocation. I mentioned this yesterday. Pre-order the Sui Play OX1. If you're keen, if you want to wait until Monday, hopefully I've got some more information on it. Fine. And remember, use Cube Exchange and earn blocks. I'm still working on this tutorial. Finally, spend five minutes a day to play Hamster Combat. That's all for today. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you in the next video.